Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. Ladies and gentlemen, this diesel engine oil shortage that is looming is being picked up by other uh, YouTubers or other bloggers like SHTF Plan. Uh, I do believe that this is where Michael Schneider is from. Mr. Schneider was a really good guy. And I went down about halfway through the article. I'll leave a link for this so you can go revisit it. This is kind of like an update. And here it says, without diesel engine oil, transportation in the United States will grind to a halt, including trains. And they've been calling different places to try to see if they're to verify uh, the diesel engine oil shortage that's looming and also the diesel shortage that we are experiencing right now. And he says, yesterday, my company emailed a representative working for one of our package transport carriers. We asked them if they had a contingency plan on how they would deal with diesel fuel shortages. Their answer shocked me so deeply that I recorded a short podcast about it below. And you can listen to this short podcast. I'll leave the link to this article in a pinned comment. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, before I forget, later on today, I'm going to go ahead and release, or probably sometime later on tonight, I will release the meat and potatoes to yesterday's live stream. Thank you very much to all of you who joined in on yesterday's live stream. Had a great time. And as always, I missed a whole bunch of questions, but I'll go ahead and leave that along with the meat and potatoes of yesterday's live stream. Sometime tonight, it should be released. He, go, he goes on to say here, they told me we didn't have to worry about diesel shortages because if the diesel ran out, they would revert to using trains for transportation. All right. And of course, I, I pretty much, uh, right away, I have the same questions that they have. And he says, confused, we asked them a question in our reply. What fuel do you think trains run on? And their answer was coal. So some people still think that our trains run on coal. And he says, yes, people working for transportation and logistics carriers in 2022 Think that there is a guy on every train madly shoveling coal into a firebox like a scene out of the 1850s. They have no idea that trains run on diesel. And that's not a good thing, really. Maybe we should hope that we would have kept trains running on coal. Uh, because if trains and tractor trailers do stop, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to have to use your preps. He continues to say, since trains run on massive diesel engines, they use a tremendous amount of diesel engine oil. I know I've been harping about this, but the thing is, is that since your average American doesn't run a diesel engine, and even if they did in a small car like a, uh, a Volkswagen, I know Volkswagen has little cars that have diesel engines in them and other brands as well. But since your average American runs on gasoline, they're not thinking about this. And then they're not thinking about the implications that running out of something that is needed in order for that diesel engine to continue to run efficiently and properly, they don't think about it. What's going to be the implications if we do run out of this diesel engine oil? I think it will be grave. For starters, there will be no coal deliveries to power plants. That's number one, that generate electricity. So the power grid ceases to function. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of power plants in the United States generate electricity with coal. So when you're charging up that electric vehicle that you have to save the planet, guess what's being used in order to generate the electricity that you're putting into your electric vehicle? Yes, more than likely it's coal and natural gas. Natural gas, in my opinion, being the better of the two as far as putting less pollutants into the air. That also means that all people with electric vehicles won't be able to charge their cars. There we go. No diesel, no electric vehicle charging. With no electricity, ATMs won't work and banks won't function either. Nor will point-of-sale retail systems at checkout counters. Credit cards won't work either. Are you getting the point? that you need to be prepared. I'm trying not to get excited on this video, ladies and gentlemen. I think I'm doing good so far. Without trucks or trains, there will be no food deliveries to grocery stores. No inventory at Walmart, no lumber at Home Depot. If this diesel engine oil situation is not somehow resolved, Amazon.com will cease to function because all the packages or all the package carriers, i.e. UPS, FedEx, USPS, etc., 
will not be able to load via roads or rail. Even worse, without diesel, diesel engine oil, all agriculture will grind to a halt and the crops will rot in the fields. There will be no construction machinery able to operate since they're all diesel engines. And if your food facility is on fire and you dial 911, they won't be able to send fire trucks because their trucks run on diesel engines, as do most ambulances. Many ships and boats also use diesel engine as well. So a collapse of diesel engine oil, if it runs its course, leads to a total collapse of the economy. One thing, we've built, we've built a system around us that has so many points of failure that if one thing goes wrong, then everything goes wrong, ladies and gentlemen. There is no other time in history, in my opinion, that people should be preparing the most for. Because we've become accustomed to allowing technology to make our lives very comfortable without thinking what would happen if that technology ceases to exist or ceases to work in our favor. America cannot survive even six months without diesel engine oil, much less a year. And he goes on to talk a little bit about Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is pulling trains off the railways due to the diesel engine oil shortage. Not diesel, right? Not diesel fuel, but diesel engine oil shortage. As proof of the severity of all of this, Sri Lanka, which is already in a state of revolt and collapse, has just announced that they have no diesel engine oil for their railway trains. And this came from newsfirst.lk. Sri Lanka Railways said that it will not be possible to operate trains in the future due to a lack of engine oil. A senior official said that the current level of engine oil would only last for another two months. That's in line with the warning we're hearing in the States, meaning here in the United States. About eight weeks of diesel engine oil remaining in the pipeline. If that holds out, it means there will be no more diesel engine oil in late August or early September. Now, I spoke about this yesterday during our live stream, and a gentleman emailed me and said, listen, we really don't have anything to worry about uh, as far as my research goes, meaning his, uh, because where I live, I can find diesel engine oil with no problem. But just like food shortages, in some places, there may be a shortage of this, whereas in some places, that may be abundant. But that doesn't take into consideration the big picture. Well, what is needed in the quantities that is needed to power our economy, ladies and gentlemen. They say here that about 10% of all of the 18-wheeler rigs in the country need their engine oil each week, need, need to change their engine oil each week. All across America, about 10% of the 18-wheeler transport trucks have to change their oil each week. These trucks go about 25,000 miles between oil changes and a typical rig is driven about 2,500 miles per week. That means the typical truck goes 10 weeks between oil changes. Mathematically assuming the oil change status is eventually or is evenly distributed across the fleet of transport trucks, Starting in late August, about 10% of long-haul trucks will have to be removed from the roads each week due to a lack of diesel engine oil. Considering some buffer time in all of this, that puts us at around mid-November for the truck again, they're calling it, scenario, where trucks are no longer functioning because there's no engine oil. Trains would be shut down around the same time, seemingly. And he finishes off by saying, we hope this problem can be resolved and that a solution found. Yet, we also live in a world where we have a widely recognized infant formula shortage and now even a tampon shortage. There's a diesel fuel shortage, a DEF shortage, and a serious shortage of replacement parts for tractors, trucks, and construction equipment. So it's not a radical thought to realize there are, there, that there may be a diesel engine oil shortage brewing as well. 
Uh, the president recently bragged about taking millions of cars off the road, confirming that his goal is to actually eliminate vehicles on the roadways. Na nationwide scale. Ladies and gentlemen, this is, is so saddening what's happening to our nation. Uh, nationwide, scarcity of engine oil would surely accomplish that goal rather quickly, it seems. The way that things are going under this administration, uh, let's see, uh, we can only expect the worst. So ladies and gentlemen, listen, just stock up on the things that you need, all right? If you have a business where you need diesel engine oil, then stock up on that as well. Uh, just take a look at what you would need for the specified amount of time that they're talking about because these are the guys that are really out there doing the research, calling the companies, and then try to stock up on that maybe plus an extra couple of months. Uh, just like my buddy did. One of my very good friends, I talked to him yesterday. He said that, yeah, once he saw my video, he went out there because he has a business where he needs, where he operates equipment that has diesel engines. He said, yeah, I went out and I purchased myself a little more than a year's worth of diesel engine oil. And it's not going to hurt because I can guarantee you this pretty much that by this time next year, that same diesel engine oil that you're picking up today will probably be more expensive. Why is that? Just monetary policy, just inflation on its own. It doesn't have to be shortages, but just inflation on its own, if everything was great, uh, tells us that the prices will be higher this time next year than they are today. Why? Because the inflation that we've created in the last few years, it still has not all caught up to us. It still has not all caught up to the prices of goods, consumer items that we purchase. It's still trickling in, which means that things are going to continue to get more expensive for the next several years, in my opinion, because there was a lot of trillions of dollars that were printed out of thin air. Having said that, I hope you got something out of this. I hope that you're preparing. Have a great day. Remember that later on tonight, I'll be releasing the meats and potatoes of yesterday's live stream. Uh, other than that, Remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place, so you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. I'm Alaska Prepper. I'm out. God bless.